What up, what up, what up, what it is, what it is, y'all already know we back at you guys with another delivery, man. This is an update, what's going on with everybody reacting to the news of Lil Scoom 89, unfortunately, man, passing on last night. Um, sad situation. Before we get to it and I break down the reaction and the response of THF Zoo, let's hit that like button one time, man. It keeps me motivated, lets me know y'all want more updates on the little school 89 situation we're gonna keep on you know developing details on what happened and if there's any arrests and such on huh? anytime soon y'all already know man like 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 button button free let's go y'all already know we over here we over here with thf zoo man thf zoo man unfortunately just like the rest of us wakes up reads the news man another chicago rapper that was on the rise young Lil School 89 unfortunately gunned down last night in Chicago, man. And it seems like, you know, his mom, the mother of Lil School 89, put out some details in a tweet saying that, you know, she feels like whoever Lil School was surrounded by last night, whether it was friends or affiliates, whoever had something to do with her son's loss, man. Pretty much saying her son had sent this message to her about 11 minutes before the tragedy happened to him saying he felt awkward he felt some backdoor vibes he said people were acting shady and snaky next thing you know boom he's on the news man down unfortunately little school 89 lost his life so we got one of the real treacherous real credibility savages that's been in this game for more than a decade man and still out here one of the last of the breed of the starters man straight from the zoo thf bay zoo man that's why thf bay zoo pretty much speaks gets his two cents about how he feels on the situation and how things have been going lately there's a lot of that backdoor situations a lot of people that is ready to turn on you for a little bit of change for a little bit of clout and just to get some props from the other side for setting you up there's a lot of jealousy and envious people out here in these trenches around this era around this time you know so THA Bayzu pretty much man responding reacting to the news of Lil School 89 allegedly being backdoored by his own people last night he goes and he posts this on his story and says if you got that feeling some ain't right when you around somebody follow that feeling these ninjas will backdoor you and they think that makes them tough i'm here to tell you your ass is a scary i don't trust none of you boys on d thing at all y'all do anything for money and y'all some d riders ain't got your own mind that's why i uh, my little crowd i'm sticking to with I don't have to question, but one thing about me, my eyes and my ears are always open. It's F Boys K. Y'all already know the gorilla from the trenches, Big Wop. There it is, man. THF Zoo pretty much giving a little advice for the rest of you young and saying if you got that gut feeling, man, that there's something awkward. Some of your people is acting really weird. They're not looking at you eye to eye. These people is literally shaking, nervous, feeling like there's going to be something that's going to happen. Follow your instinct and get out of that building. Get out of that situation try to you know curve some of these people that you already know just even through the conversations on your phone you can kind of read and feel you know this person just you know bad news this person just trying to you know see what he can get off of me this person not really genuine this person doesn't really love me he just trying to come around and see what his snaky hands can get too so you need to cut off some of these people man there's no need to have any friendships with these type of guys. There's also another, you know, post has just been leaked out as well where somebody posted it and allegedly it's a girlfriend or some girl that was close to Lil Scoom 
and was there with him last night and it seems like she was having a conversation with his ops or somebody who wanted to do something to him asking if he was there telling um him telling her pretty much to keep it on the low to not say that they're speaking and asking if Lil Schoon was there she then responded saying yes he's getting his hair braided and then he's leaving so it's like damn did this girl have ties with Lil Schoon's ops and this is how they were able to get the location and the time waiting for him outside or whatever happened man this is right here this is the messages going around floating around right now saying this back door conversations what led Lil Scoom 89 to lose his life last night so this girl probably has a lot of explaining to do if these conversations are real now this is crazy um Lil Scoom's mom, like I said earlier, also said, you know, Lil Scoom already had felt there was some awkwardness in the room, man. That she, he had actually called her and explained to her that he felt these ninjas are acting weird. Then she says 11 minutes later, Lil Scoom is pronounced dead. Damn, man, that's crazy. So y'all need to really, really... Keep your eyes open and your ears open at all times, man. Like Bezu just announced, these guys now they will do anything to get you out the way, to get the bag, get some money off of you. They feel like something happens to you. They're entitled to whatever you leave behind. They feel like a little bit of money is, you know, worth getting you out the way these jealous one of the crush is probably trying to get with you so now he's mad low-key hating wants you out the way we saw what happened with duck and that other guy that was mad the whole real reason all this went down with duck was because duck was smashing his baby mama what did he do he got in his feelings was mad duck was flexing smashing his baby mama he set this whole thing up against duck so it's crazy some of these people will really really backdoor you for the silliest pittiest things that's not even worth it so like i said man y'all go ahead be safe out there y'all need to clean up house man clean up that contact list on your phone look at and determine who's really real and who is fugazi whoever you feel is that question mark right away instantly get them out the way man you don't need to be bringing these people around you man that you know is a big question mark whether they really you know got your back or they just there to try to eat off of you y'all already know man we're gonna stay posted up with this story developing on Lil Scoom 89 and more reactions this was THF Zoo's reaction real quick so let me know in the comment section how y'all feel about this message how deep was it is it facts how do you guys feel and such on man salute salute how do y'all feel about this girl in this conversation too is this combo real or what we're gonna have to figure out figure out who this girl was too y'all already know to the next up